This turnover, we're going to attack from the turtle. Just some basics when someone's in the turtle, always keep the pressure on. I like to grab the collar, shove their head in the ground. I like to grab the belt in case they try and move. I can move with them, circle with them, do whatever I'm going to do. I'm going to demonstrate one of my favorite turnovers. I do it all the time because I can actually remember it. And uh, it's pretty simple to get, actually. Um, even when they're all tied up and closed up, you can still get it, especially if you've got this grip. So we're starting here. Well, let me just demonstrate it first. I'm slipping in. I like to grab here. A lot of people are going to try and roll you over. They're all going to try and do that and roll you over. Always be wary of that. So when you do that grip, I like to have this knee braced here and leaning back. So you're just grabbing his lapels on the inside? Yep, that's okay. all. That's all I'm doing is grabbing the lapels nice and simple. So from there, what I like to do is step up. I'm literally just stepping up over them and lifting them up. This just takes away a lot of their power. If he does try and roll me over, it's a little bit harder. I've got, I've got control. All right? From here, it's just nice and tight. You notice to my wrist, I just kind of lock them in. All I'm doing from here is going to be stepping through with my leg. All right? That's all I'm doing. Ideally, I want to keep the flow going. You notice this leg rolls over with them. Now look where this hand is. Where's the most likely place this guy's going to try and go? That way. That's how he escapes. So when you get to this point, I like to keep this foot here. I hook. Now when he tries to escape, I got him. All right? At this point, I just roll over and I grab his gi, his belt, whatever I can get. All right? And I just hug it. And I stay in Tate Shio Gatame. Uh, if he moves around, I might hook his foot, control the foot. But as long as I'm not in any immediate threat, I just hang on to this pen. If he throws his hand over here for some reason, maybe I'll try and change my grip a little bit, go for an arm bar. But really, all I'm looking for is just to uh, throw myself under him, roll him over, and get on top of him. I mean, that's about it. So I like to stay out here. And, and keep him away from this arm so he can't roll me over. Step over, roll him. Notice this right foot too. If it gets stuck under here, you might have to do something different. This still works. But I like to suck it out there. It's like a scissor kick at this point. You've got hold of this hand so he can't roll away. You've got hold of this lapel so he has a hard time rolling into you also. All right, you've got a pretty decent grip here. And you just swivel your hips forward. That time I'm just taking this grip. Maybe I want to hook the head, whatever's comfortable. But you're trying to make as little movement as possible once you've got them tight. If they're super big, super strong, I like to go up higher so when they bridge, it doesn't have as much of an impact. And then a lot of times if they do get me off, I still got this arm. If they're going to try and throw me off, I'd rather have them go that way. I can go for an arm bar. So I like to keep my hand braced to the right of any side. So if he does happen to overpower me or just push me off, I've got something to follow up with. Anyone want to see that one again real quick? Sure. Start with the control. I like to work here, get this grip first, because this one he might try and do something with it. He might try and roll me over. I'd rather not have that happen. So I'm going to go for the other one first, keep the control. And when I do get this one, I still keep back a little bit. When I'm ready, I just step over and just take away a lot of this power right there. Slip under. Notice I scissor kick my feet to get this one over. If I can, I hook this here. I don't want him to get me in his guard immediately. I want to be on the outside of his leg if possible. When I'm ready, this hand comes through and controls. If I need to, I can adjust. I like to hook the ankles and control here. I like to brace on this side, if any, because so he can't escape that way. If he does happen to escape the other way, at least I've still got control of this arm. 
I can work into something else. Okay, we'll go. We'll come around. Any questions? Before you split up, you guys had to play. It is a uh, student.